Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm the Gentleman and welcome to another episode of the Gentleman's Pixel Club. On the screen behind me, some winners use drugs briefly appeared. What the hell is this? This is a new game on the Sega Mega Drive and this game absolutely rocks. This is coming out in late 2021 and we're looking at a demo of it at the moment and this is called Metal Dragon. I fired this up and I thought, by God, they really hit the nail on the head. This is a Spanish company, I believe, that made this game, and it's a parody of a lot of popular games. It's a parody of the 1980s, for want of a better word. And when I saw this, the first thing that came to my mind, it was a cross between Commando, it was a cross between Punisher, it was a cross between Escape from New York, and it had all the cheesy 80s ideas thrown in. You can see if you look at the screen a little bit of a scrolling giving you an intro giving you the background and this is coming out on the mega drive and i'm playing this on the mr fpga using a demo version 1.2 it took me a couple of sessions to actually realize that i fell in love with this game and i don't own a mega drive but i will be supporting the company that produced this this channel gets nothing for free it's never had anything for free but what i'm doing is you know i value the effort that's gone into this i value the effort that's gone into this game so today i've already put the order in for metal dragon to the developers and i will get in my own physical copy of this i will be reaching out to them separately to say look i don't own a mega drive is there any chance you can actually dump it for me so i can have a version to play on the mister but metal dragon ticks every box so we're going in and we're starting on normal here and it opens with a little intro that you can see here that takes the P out of you know the, the the Metal Gear Solid type intros, you know, in the nice sort of pastel green that you have with a conversation going on between the guy here and his commander, and basically it's a covert operation. You're not to be detected. You're not to kill anybody or anything else like that. And nice, nice, fun intro. What I've done is I've put the URL for the game on the bottom of the screen as well. So if this is something you love feel free to go and order it. I believe once the order's in, they're gonna close it at that point, so you won't be able to get it again. I get no kickbacks for this, I get nothing for this, but good games are worth selling, are worth advertising. As soon as this fired up, I immediately thought I was on a much more colorful version of Commando, the arcade game, Commando on the Spectrum that I've played as well. Even the positioning of the enemies felt very, very similar. I'm messing about a little bit with the controls here, just using the general fire button. There is a secondary weapon that you can use, and I've got 20 of those like rocket things that you can see by the symbol on the bottom middle left of the screen, but I'm not using them at the moment. I'm just learning the controls, firing away at the enemies, and this is the first time that I've played this. Going through this demo, I made a, a choice not to play the whole demo, because I want each of you to explore it if you like this kind of game on the Mr. FPJ or whatever emulator you choose to do this on. But I figured that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play as many repeats as it takes to get me to the boss, the first level boss. And when I kill that boss, whatever I've got left with after that point, I will continue playing through and continue my journey. On the ground is health that you can pick up and your health bar is on the bottom left of the screen, rapidly dropping as you can see and the, the enemies that they come from every angle in, in trucks in men and everything else like this and it's like a completely mad bullet hell but it's not impossible because you have a frequent health that you can pick up I have been knocked down there you've got other weapons that you can pick up that I start to use in a moment as well and it's just pure unobliterated fun you know, it feels like a, one, of, one of those mad Japanese shoot em up games where you've got bullets flying absolutely everywhere. But in this version, you're a commando on the ground. Game over for me. We are going to start again because, you know, we will be giving up after the first boss. So this is effectively our second go on this. And it does take us back to the beginning. You know, we didn't get far enough to have a checkpoint. But if you've seen enough of my videos, this is what you can expect. The aesthetics of this game the um, 80s atmosphere that it gives you, the 80s environment it gives you, you know, ticks the boxes of Rambo, of Commando, of Escape from New York, and any other film from that era, 
I think the authors of this game in on their Twitter account, if you have a look, publicly say as well that this is a bit of fun. But it's brilliant to see a bit of fun coded this well on the Mega Drive. And more importantly than this, this game looks so crisp, this looks so sharp, and it's really, really impressive. I'm picking up the shotgun there, and my weapon has changed. You watch it fire three bullets at the same time in my hail of death that I choose to shoot at these enemies as I work my way up the screen when you get to the top of the screen the game changes a little bit so this isn't constantly a vertical scroll as well which adds variety which makes it even more fun you know and i have no idea what to expect on the full game as you go forward i don't know how big this demo is and i'm not going to be playing this demo again until i get the full game and then i can get that copy dumped onto a effectively a file for my mr fpga and then i can play it so K Software, if you are looking at this video by any chance, I'm a small channel, the chances are very unlikely, but if you are looking at this, I have got an order in the system, please, please, please consider reaching out to me to help me get a physical, sorry, a, a, a digital copy that I can play. We have these cutscenes come back again, again, very much like Metal Gear Solid with the, the ragged boss on the right hand and the youthful Punisher type man that we see here that's clearly going to take no notice of what's being said and the game has now changed so rather than the vertical scroller that we had we've now got a sideways scroll the graphics are still represented exactly the same but you know the idea and the movement is different and love the barriers appearing in the road here to give you blockades to make you want to be forcing your way down this and the stream of soldiers and the variety of them where they get the little bar guy with the barricade that you saw there as well you know it just makes this for pure fun you are not seeing me play this live you know if you were i'd probably be having my mouth hanging open in awe in terms of you know what am i going to do can i move forward this this is great fun but honestly regardless of what i physically look like when i play this game i had a smile as big as a planet when i was playing it because you know it's is it hard well the, the the health that you can get the extra health that you can pick up you know is fairly fairly generous at least so far but i'm not playing on the hardest difficulty i'm just having fun demoing this and this honestly is the second time i've played it the first time was on the life that i just lost this is the second time you've got a variety of weapons here we seem to have some laser type one at the moment which was shooting the, the blue lines out there we've seen the shotgun We've got the secondary weapon, which is the missiles that you can shoot as well. And it's just waves and waves of enemies coming at you. But bloody good fun. More variety in the guys with the... Although, unfortunately, I died there. And this is where I question, do I restart from the beginning? Let's see. No, I'm back on the road, so this is good. I need to basically work my way along the road to get whatever is at the end. But, you know, you have waves and waves of these bad guys. And it reminds me... Although the, the graphics are different, this is not this is a sort of Force 3D Commando Icarus, Icarus Shoulders, Icarus Shoulders, I'm never sure how to pronounce that type game where, you know, you do have a, a Force 3D perspective that you can see and it's not like Metal Slug, which is effectively a, a 2D platform game, but I have vibes of Metal Slug with this as well. You know, the graphics are so endearing, they're so bloody cheerful on what you've got and all you need to do is look at the poster out there where you've got the guy sitting there with the punisher type top you know you've got the lady who's the president's daughter that he's looking to rescue of course the way that she's dressed if i was president i'd be having words about this because you know this isn't the the kind of thing that you want to be kidnapped wearing but it's all tongue-in-cheek you know there's no harm meant in anything like this you know we live in a world that's very different to what the 80s are and i would like to say that you know this game is an 80s type game you know you wouldn't get this made today but you are having it made today but it's not meant to represent today's values it represents 80s values of just blind stupidity blind you know 80s raw action you know political correctness wasn't top of the agenda political correctness was there yeah, and it was important you know but it wasn't how things were like we are today and by their important you know it, it was different political correctness you know it was more censorship than anything else you know but this is a game for today but with a mindset of yesterday don't think badly of this just think of you know what rip roaring fun you can have you know if you don't like the graphics and the graphic style 
isn't for you, hey, that's absolutely fine. No one is forcing you to buy this. But for me, you know, I'm an older generation player. You know, you can see this by looking at me and the games that I like to play. This absolutely tickled me. And what really did it was the Escape from New York vibe that I had. There has never been an Escape from New York game. And, you know, this to me felt like it could be Escape from New York because I believe the film Escape from New York, you had to rescue the, the president's daughter, at least in one of them. Or, sorry, in the second one, Escape from L.A., you had to. And and, and this is just that. This, this is fun, a shooting fun game. I'm going to kill this boss. If I don't kill this boss, we're going to restart again. But we will not be having any more lives beyond this point. You know, I want to go past here, see what's next, and then we eventually stop the game. So whatever state I'm in, when this is, and, and I died. So it's game over. We're going to have one more retry, and we're just going to blast away at this tank. We're absolutely not going to stop. It's probably going to leave us very badly damaged from a health point of view. And you can see the tank's health on the top left-hand side of the screen versus my health on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. But if we can get through this tank just to see what's next, to give us an idea of what the game looks like and what type of level is there, that is absolutely enough for me so the tank is nearly dead but i'm nearly dead as well so you know a little bit more shooty shooty and hopefully hopefully it will be gone it knocked me down then but it didn't kill me and there the tank is dead nice explosion that you get and probably another cutscene. yep here we are so back with our grizzled boss who looks like he belongs on some navy boat and i the dragon the metal dragon are gonna go in to the next level to see what's next and i knew this was coming obviously this is a real one over top and this was wonderful i thought we haven't got more of the same we've got a different environment and you know we've got fixed obstacles here with the boxes that don't blow up that you can shoot you know enemies coming from everywhere again health to pick up and explore just a little bit and more weapons being dropped so you know the idea is similar the scenario is very different and we've got new things like these turrets we have a turret on the right hand side of the screen that i'm going to try and kill and that's taken me out and this is game over so this is metal dragon hope you've enjoyed the video a great game i brought this for myself maybe you will too would you like to play again but, hello there just a quick word from me if you're a subscriber to this channel thank you very much honestly it means the world to me and the world to Harun that I'm holding. Harun would like all of you to be subscribers to this channel. And if you are this far through the video and you haven't subscribed, but you feel that I have earned your subscription through the content that you've seen so far, please, please consider subscribing. It makes me happy. It makes Harun happy. And when Harun's happy, everybody's happy. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.